let's see what are the different kind of fact tables. We have seen the different different kind of dimension table. Similarly, there are types of fact tables. See in this example, as as one of the example which I was demonstrating you, and Sinivas asked directly, where is the date? He said he uh, observed correctly, and he said that there should be a date also, right? In this example, let's take the same example. If you have a day one date as a first day, you have sold number of product as 500, and the second day, if you have sold number of product in the 200, let's say in this in this database, I have a date also. Let's create a date. Uh, one more column, I will say date, and let's say sorry. Date and here I will say the type of our attribute is a date, let's say, and then we'll apply it. Done. So, date, date column is created. Now, let's say I have a first day 500, second day 250. If I want to find out total, then I can add both the rows and find the uh, uh, as the 750, correct? This is correct for this kind of fact table. Now let's say what is, so this is known as additive fact table. The, the, if the, if the, the rows can be combined, if the columns for a particular fact tables can be combined to get the final output is known as additive fact. So this measurable attribute inside a fact table can be combined and, and the result can be created that is an additive fact. But not everything can be added. So in this case you see here, if, if our fact table is a balanced fact table, and it contains for day by day uh, detail, let's say first day balance is 5000, second day balance is balance of company's account in account 2 for a day 1, same day another account. So there are two accounts, two subsidiary companies, two subsidiary company, one is maintaining 5000 as an account, another is 2500. If I combine them together, then I can find out that okay, for an overall company level, for this particular date, I have 7500 as a balance, right? But if it is if it is spread across the date, let's say the first day 5,000, second day 3,000, can you say total balance in the on the account one in two days is 8,000? If it is the day wise, see here it is a two different companies, company one and company two. Then you can combine and you can say that okay for a whole company level this is the balance. But for a day wise, can you combine the balance and say that total com balance in the company is 8,000? No, right? Some day, uh, first day 5,000 was the balance, second day is 3,000. So, you cannot say it is 8,000. So, this fact table where you cannot do, where you cannot do the addition across all the columns will be known as semi-additive fact table. Here you can do the addition uh, on some of the columns, but you cannot perform the same operation on the rest of the columns. That's why it is known as semi-additive. And, and additive fact tables across all the columns you can do the addition. If if I have a, let's say 10 columns and if I can perform the addi addi addition addition operation on all the 10 columns, then I will call that fact table as an addi additive fact uh, table. If I can perform only on, on those 10 columns, if I can perform only the sum operation on the 5 columns, then I will say as a semi-additive fact tables. Right, one second. Similarly, you see the profit margin. If there is a fact table called profit margin, if profit margin for the day one is 30 percent and profit margin of the day two is 70 percent, can you say the total profit margin of a company is a hundred percent? No, right. So, for those fact tables where you cannot perform additive operation across in any of the columns then that fact table will be known as non-additive fact tables. These are the definition of different fact tables. So we have additive, we have semi-additive and then you have non-additive. And where? And in the dimension table, in a, in a fact table where only dimensions are available and no as measurable attribute, then it is a no fact table. That is called as no fact because there must be some measurable attributes. So we will, if there is a by mistake, if there is a by, a by design, you have selected a fact table where there is no measurable attribute, it is just linking the different dimension, then it will be known as a no fact table. Maybe in this kind of table, you are doing the calculation on the fly. You are not storing it, you are not persisting it. 
in the database rather than you are using this table only for doing the calculation on the fly. So this kind of table will be known as no fact table. Factless or, or factless fact. Fact, fact, uh, factless fact table. Let's take this example again for additive facts. It is a airline industry number of uh, tickets sold. 2nd January, 1st January, 2nd January 2000 across the cities, then 2nd January across the city. For the same, for the same date, you can combine, right, to find out total number of products sold, correct. And even across the, even across the date, you can combine to find out total number of products sold. So if you combine them together, even if, even if it belongs to two different dates, two different cities, in fact, even then it, it is, it, 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 it is holds good. It holds goods and that will call it additive fact. Means any columns you can perform the addition. You see here. Number airline industry for the same date also is fine. Across the across the city also fine. In a semi-additive, you can only do for certain Certain columns, certain rows, you see for the 1st January, it holds good, but for the, across the date, it will not hold good. You see here. For the 1st January, for the same, for the same column value, it, you can perform the addition, but for the different column values, you cannot perform the addition. Here, the date has a different column, different values. Is this clear, friends? The addition, uh, additive, semi-additive. Okay, then it is a simple thing. Just I then I will quickly go, go over it. non entity I have seen, we have seen across the, for this column you cannot combine. Even if for the same date, even if for the same date for different store you cannot say profit margin seventy percent. One is seven forty percent, another thirty percent. This attribute is not a not a additive attribute. Profit margin is not additive uh, attribute which we cannot combine. Similarly, across the data also you cannot combine. 